We're back working on this techno track and last video we were developing the main theme. Using nothing but a wavetable, a reverb and a... High fidelity rack which I highly recommend you check out. So the whole idea with this theme is I want it to just continue, I want it to start nice and pure, maybe a square wave. In fact, let's do that, and then as the track progresses, it just gets more and more complex to the point where it's just totally fucking out the gate. Okay, let's let's drag this back. I'm going to have to use chains here because I want I can't really morph any of these into just a square, so I'm going to group these into an instrument rack, and let's open up these this chain here. And let's go ahead and put in, we'll use an operator. So here's an operator. And I'm going to fade the wavetable in, maybe from this point. So at the start, we only have the operator playing. Ooh, should we start it as a Okay, I need to use a wavetable then. I want to start it as a sign. We'll keep it as pure as possible. That's kind of cool. Make sure this is mono. A little bit of release so we don't get too many pops. We've got no kick going on here. kind of clashes quite a lot with that rumble so let's man can we use the what do we got here yeah let's just have the rumble open up can we do that so I definitely want this to transform into a saw wave or a square wave over this period We might have to deal with a saw because that's first on the list. It goes saw then square. That's cool. Give this some unison, maybe. So the amount is bringing in a, a saw wave. I mean, that's random note. So why are we getting a saw wave coming through there? I like it. I'm real happy with that. So let's go ahead and put an LFO on that. Weird. You guys hearing that? Anyone got any ideas why that's happening? So let's map that to the amount. Let's make this a saw up. Does that work with other unison options? No. So let's bring the depth up over here. Maybe we need to go up to here. We also need to change the offset. Whoa.
Let's get a phaser in there to like make those saws sing. Bring this up over this period as well. Maybe the high fidelity is producing the saw. Let's just go back here. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna ask questions. I feel like at this point we need to have another little signifying thing. If we put another oscillator in. Let's apply envelope two to this volume. Uh, volume. Let's bring the filter down. Maybe over this period. And we need to give the filter an envelope. So we need to bring the sustain down as well. So as the filter goes down, the sustain comes down. No attack. And bring the decay down as well, slowly. And now this other wavetable should be fading in. a bit quickly let's bring the feedback of the phaser up happening way too quickly definitely need some EQs let's just let this pan out Just the spread. I'm going to add one more thing here. I'm going to put in the clip. 
make it one bar. Let's just put it in an operator for now. Cross your fingers, guys. That was fun so quite a lot more to develop on this but hopefully you can see from this video the idea that i want to go on and then when this drops so i'll do this in the next video when this drops this is just going to go nuts so over the next 32 bars or 64 bars probably here i'm just going to start adding a fix to mangle it and twist it and distort it and all kinds of stuff like that okay that'll do for today